Good evening and welcome to Hungary Report, start of public media and one's foreign language news hour. I'm Chenga Gabriela Iboya with today's news from Hungary and the Ethiopian Basin. Let's begin. New restrictions have come into effect on Monday here in Hungary. Once again, people are required to wear a mask on public transportation, at stops and in train and bus stations. Those who refuse to comply will have their journey cut short and taken off the vehicle and could be fined thousands of forints. The government's aim continues to be the same, which is to help stop the spread of the pandemic by getting people vaccinated instead of closing down the entire country. From the 1st of November, there is also a ban on visiting hospitals in the country. The ban also affects nursing homes, with the exception that the directors of each institution can decide whether they want, the ban, whether they want to ban visitors or not. There are some nursing homes, for example, where they allow visitors who have received all three of their vaccines. The 26th UN Climate Change Conference has begun in Glasgow, Scotland. More than 200 countries will take part in the conference. In the upcoming 12 days, 25,000 politicians are awaited in the Scottish city. Hungary will be represented by President Janos Adder. The head of state said, over the last 25 years and even since the Paris Climate Summit, carbon dioxide concentrations have risen. Janos Adder emphasized that we do not need to scare people or, intangible, or make intangible promises, but rather commitments such as Hungary's when it comes to becoming a climate neutral. Hungary will be climate neutral by 2050. This intention has been secured by a law in Parliament and its implementation has already begun. By 2030 the latest, but hopefully by 2026, we will phase out coal-based electrical power generation. We will also increase the capacity of our solar power plants from 3,000 megawatts to be built by the end of the current year to 6,500 by 2030. From 2030, we will only use electric buses in public transport. In the meantime, though, we are constantly replacing the fleet. We are also implementing a very significant forestation program in the country. Applications to become the next Hungarian astronaut are now open. The selection of the crew of the second Hungarian scientific astronaut mission has begun, which can be applied for electronically on hunor.gov.hu until the 31st of January 2022. This was announced by the Ministerial Commissioner for Space Research and Space Activities of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade at the Budapest Congress of the International Astronaut Association. Dozens of astronauts came to the capital for the organization's annual meeting to promote space, space exploration. <clears throat> In accordance with international standards, in addition to height and weight and physical requirements, high education, English language skills, Russian language skills as a second language are especially important. It is important to be mentally, meaning psychologically stable, and to be able to work in a team, be that a man or a woman. Here, discipline and a high degree of concentration are unavoidable in the long run, as they will be working in the midst of severe stress conditions. And that's all for now, but don't forget you can catch Hungary Reports every night after 11 o'clock news and online as always. Do stick around and watch our German, Russian and Chinese language news. Thank you for watching and have a lovely evening.